here today uh, to talk to you about an essential topic uh, in the enterprise world, which is mobility. Today, more and more employees can perform their jobs from anywhere using a variety of devices and applications. And 4D is an open platform, and this is also true for the mobility aspect. And a lot of our customers are already mobile, either using external development or our 4D mobile solution. Today, 4D customers are building mobile apps using frameworks like uh, Angular or with native developments, and they access the data through the 4D web server. So let's take a minute to focus on some typical user scenarios. So today, all business applications run at least on a desktop. And the number one feature request is to extend these existing applications to mobiles. So let's say you're in sales and you're visiting a customer. You might want to check the list of unpaid invoices so that you can remind your customer you're still waiting for payment. You might want to search for a specific product reference to give more information to your customer. You might also want to update the customer information just like the email address or the phone number. These are in fact pretty simple needs. Read, search, and update data. Extending your business application is already possible with 4D Mobile, which was released with 4D v14. 4D Mobile is a full JavaScript solution based on Wakanda and connected with 4D. And 4D Mobile is very powerful, but it requires a deep knowledge of JavaScript and Angular. So this solution is mostly intended for professional web developers. So while we provide professional services, sorry, for developers just needing a little hand, we've also received requests for something simple to use. A solution that would not require specific expertise. A solution integrated in 4D. I'm excited today here at the 4D Summit to announce the new 4D solution for mobility. 4D for iOS. So before telling you more about the product, and I'm sure you're eager to get more details, so let's take a quick look at the naming. So as the name clearly states, the product is entirely dedicated to the iOS platform. And let me, some uh, let me give you some reasons why we made that choice. iOS currently dominates the enterprise market. According to various surveys, the iPhone accounts for about 70 to 90% of enterprise smartphone in use. And when it comes to tablets, it's the iPad or nothing. Another interesting statistic to mention, Apple made more revenue with the iPhone, last quarter, sorry, uh, Apple made more revenue with the iPhone than all other vendors together. And this is why we've decided to go with iOS first. Okay, so now it's time to tell you more about the 4D for iOS product and what it's built on. So 4D for iOS is a mobile app generator, fully integrated in 4D. It allows you to easily create native mobile apps in pure Swift, as if an iOS developer would have coded it for you, but without you needing to learn any other technology or language. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> the advantage of a native app versus a web app is that the UI and UX is, uh, design sorry, is fully optimized for mobile devices. And the created application works online, but also offline. Yes, you heard that correctly. <laughs> Customer will be able to use it in a plane, a tunnel, a train, or in the middle of nowhere. Good. And finally, 4D for iOS is an open solution. It creates a real Xcode project. 
it means that you can start with 44 iOS and then enhance it later if you need more advanced features. Okay, that's it. I hope you enjoyed the presentation. Um, but maybe you'd like to see a demo, yeah. would you? <laughs> okay, so let's do a demo then. Oops. So this is our real estate application and I'm going to start a new mobile project. So you saw the new item just in the file menu. I'm giving a name to my new project. And you see that I'm uh, arriving at the very first page, a landing page that is briefly introducing 44 I, uh, for iOS product. And then we'll continue and to start, uh, we'll click sorry on continue to start our project. All right. So just let's stop for a minute. I'm sure you're all wondering, is that really 4D? Or is that a kind of external tool? I can assure you that this is in 4D. It's, by the way, it's a 4D component. So what about the general tab? This tab is, is dedicated to general information about the mobile app. So we will start by entering the organization name. So with Smarter, all right. And the identifier. We'll give a name to our mobile application. Now it's time for us to define the icon that we want to use. So we go to the finder and we just have to drag and drop it. Okay. So now we can move on to the next step and move to the structure tab. This is where we select the tables and fields that we want to use in our application. At this stage, we are going to define a subset of the physical structure, and this subset will be replicated in a local database inside the iPhone. So we select the fields that we want to use in our app. So for the customer table first, we choose desk not, email, first name, last name, phone, and the customer photo. Then we will repeat the same operations for the real estate table and select the fields that we want to use. Okay. Now let's move on to the label and icons tab where we will define a label for each field which is just basically a kind of display name and an icon to each field if we want to. So regarding the label, you can see that there is a built-in process that beautifies the display name from the field name. So for instance, if you look at the desk note field, it has been changed to desk space notes and the underscore has been removed. Same thing for first name and last name. Now let's pick some icons for the tables and then rename desk note to notes only. You can see that we have a wide list of predefined icons for you. Of course, you can also upload your own icons if you wish. So we select the icons for our field, and now we will do the same for the real estate table. So now question, what are these icons used for? In fact, the table icons will be shown in the tab bar that allows to navigate between tables. And fill icons will be used in the detailed views, and you see that later. Now let's move on to the main menu tab. This is the place where you can reorder the tables in the tab bar. So here we will change that to have real estate first. So we just drag and drop, you see the tables. Next step is about forms. So for each table, we will build a list form and a detailed form. Each form is based on templates and we provide several templates for each type of form. So we will start with the customer list form and for this table, we will pick the mosaic template. 
So once the template has been selected, the next step is to place the different fields in the template. So we'll start by defining on which field the search bar will operate. So here I choose last name. So you see, it's really easy. You just need to drag and drop the fields. And then we select the other field that we want to display in each cell of the list form. So here we'll use the customer photo, the last name, and the first name. Now let's move on to the detailed forms, staying with the customer table. So here you'll see a, a list, the list of the different templates for detailed forms, and we're going to select visual contact. And then, same operation, we drag and drop our fields. Easy, right? Not too difficult for now. Okay. Then we repeat the same operation for the real estate table. So we go back to the list forms and we will select vertical cards. And now we're going to define the city field as a search field. And then we place the other fields. So city, photo, and the price, sorry, <laughs> I couldn't read. Uh, for the detailed form, we're going to pick the left cut header template and drag and drop our fields. All right, so now we are ready to build and run the application. So we are moving to the build tab. And first we start by selecting the device that we want to test with. So here I'll pick iPhone 10. And now here's the hard part. We're going to build the application. To do so, there's just one button to click. And that's it, it's ongoing. In fact, this process may take some time since it's performing a lot of operations in the background. Um, for the, from the 44 iOS project, we generate an Xcode project. Then we start Xcode in the background. We launch a project build. We start the simulator. And then we are going to open our mobile app within the simulator. And here we are. We are now ready to play with our Real Smarter app. And so you see the bottom of the iPhone screen? This is the tab bar I was talking about. So you see the tab bar to navigate between the, the tables, so real estate and customer. And you recall we had changed the table order, we had selected some icons, this is what you see here. So you see, just a few clicks in the editor and I've got a real mobile app running. So now we can browse through the different real estate properties, so you, you see we had selected a vertical card template as a list form. Now we're looking at the detailed form. Did you see that fancy effect? Then we're going to search for a property in a particular location. All right. Uh, so let's say we're looking for a property in Los Angeles. Great, we found one. Perfect. And now let's move on to the customer table. So the customer table is using the mosaic template as a list form. Then we can check the customer details. And again, you can see the icons that we had selected earlier in the editor. All right, so to finish, let me show you something more. Let me show you how 44 iOS makes it possible to create mobile apps with their own identity. We're going to modify our Real Smarter app to get a different user experience. So to do so, we'll just go back to the form tab and we're going to change the template we used. So customer table first, so going back to forms, 
list form. We will change the list form to cube. And the detailed form to simple contact. Note that we don't have to drag and drop again the fields. This editor is smart enough to recall the fields that have the correct types. And now, let's move on to, with the real estate table. So we're going to change the list form to horizontal cards. And the detailed form to parallax header. All right, and finally, one last step. We will modify the application icon. So we go back to the finder, and we're going to drag and drop a new icon. Okay, then we just have to build and run again. So again, there's a lot of operations happening in the background. So we start with the 44 OS project, we generate an Xcode project, we start Xcode in the background, we launch a project build, and I'm sure you're eager to see the results of our modifications. Be patient. It's coming. Hey, did you see that? The application's main color has changed. It's actually automatic, automatically extracted from the mobile app icon. And you can see how the animations and transitions give a different look and feel. So you see, just a few clicks, and we really modify the user experience. Yes, some applause would be good. <laughs> Okay, so that's great, right? <laughs> so now, let's go back to the slides. All right, so just to recap. So with 4D4 iOS, you can create your mobile app in a few steps. First, you start by creating, uh, sorry, by entering your application's main information. Then, you select the tables and fields to be locally replicated in the device. Then you build your list, and your list form and detailed form for each table based on templates. Next, you define the deployment information, such as the 4D server production URL. And when all this has been done, you generate the mobile app in a single click you test it in the simulator, and once you're happy with it, you can upload it to, your, to a real device to test in real conditions. And finally, you can deploy your app either in-house or through the App Store. So this presentation was a sneak peek in 244 iOS. Our objective is, by the way, to release the first version in beta in the second half of 2018. So stay tuned. <laughs> and if you want to see more about 44 iOS, please join my breakout session later today. So step into mobility with 44 iOS. 4D makes it simple. And now let me introduce Will Taylor from 4D US for the next topic. Thank you very much. Thank you.